All over the world, farmers who have fields on hillsides have to struggle with water erosion. They clear trees to gain space so they can plant crops and graze livestock. But with the tree roots gone, there is nothing to keep the rain from washing the topsoil away. The topsoil is the most fertile layer. This process is already far advanced on Myanmar's Inla Lake. The farmers on the hillside above are losing arable land and the lake is silting up. When the water level is low, many of the famous stilt houses can hardly be reached. And the lake dwellers are steadily losing their primary food source. The native fish can't live in the muddy waters. Several initiatives have been started on site to counter this development. One solution is to plant fast-growing trees among the crops. Another is to build terraces and small dams to hold the soil on the hillside fields. Erosion can also be a problem on more or less flat ground. If the fields are wide and there are no hedges or trees, the fertile topsoil will soon be gone with the wind. Georgia, like many other Eastern Bloc countries, has to contend with the legacy of Soviet collective agriculture. Cropland stretches away to the horizon, and winds often reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. The deeper the soil is plowed, the faster the nutrients in the soil are depleted. New kinds of machines can help. They keep soil disruption to a minimum. Trees can be planted along the field's edges as windbreaks. The world population is growing, and with it, the demand for food. More and more forests will be cleared for farming. This problem is especially acute in tropical latitudes. The rainforest floor is poor in nutrients, but rich in oxygen. That makes it unsuitable for industrial agriculture. Colombia has cleared thousands of square kilometers of rainforest to make way for palm oil plantations. Palm oil may be healthy and useful for refining cosmetics or making biofuels. But once the soil is depleted by the palm tree monocultures, the planters move on and clear more land. But there is another way. Ecological farmers plant many different crops in the same ground to help balance out soil use. All kinds of plants can grow in between the palm trees. Fertilizer can be made from byproducts of the plantation's own production. That eliminates the need to clear new land and helps preserve the forest and its biodiversity. Only if farmers care for the land they've got will there be a future for both man and beast?